What is going on YouTube? It is time to break down the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare multiplayer trailer that came out last night. Start off by saying that the hate that this trailer is getting is hilarious. The, some of the responses are just amazing, so go through and read them. But <laughs> yeah, anyway. Uh, you remember in Black Ops 2, in the campaign mode, you had those sort of wrist-mounted grenade launchers, and you see them again here in action. And that's the new grenade that like tags people and you can see them through walls. You will also notice that he like sidestepped, like side dodge, like Unreal Tournament style. And that's a game that this trailer sort of brought to mind immediately for me, which is a good thing. The trailer, if anything, makes it look a little bit more fun. Uh, again, speaking of Unreal Tournament, sniper rifle bullet trails, uh, that's going to be in there. He goes into a cloak here, which seems kind of bullshit. But if you look closely, in the bottom right corner you will see the suit and five bars underneath. As soon as he activates this cloak mode, it depletes, so you're going to have an energy. So you're not going to be able to use this sort of stuff all the time, and other abilities will take energy off it, and you'll see it recharge on screen a number of times uh, throughout the trailer. Uh, he Calls in a rocket net, sort of Hellstorm Predator-esque missile, to take out this other uh, kill streak that's uh, roaming around here, like a giant AGR. Uh, dynamic maps, it's going to be a thing. Tsunamis, uh, but with this, uh, you'll actually be able to swim apparently by the looks of this trailer. Uh, again with the dodging, but we'll pause here, and you can see he pulls out this pistol which is actually a one-shot kill revolver type pistol and you also see in the bottom right it says target enhancer or target finder and the optic that's on this um, basically works like those grenades just within that screen it's sort of like a millimeter scanner I guess is the best thing I could compare it to you see there is one shot just dinks the guy now here we'll see what looks to be basically a right shield, but you see that the bar comes up on the screen again, so it's a, it's another ability. So whether the right shield is just an ability that you can have now, I do not know. But yeah, you see it wears down pretty quickly here, takes the pistol out, you see the red, the, and then he just dives into the water and just swims off like nobody's business. Um, you get to see here the, the laser, laser weapons basically. Um, they don't kill too quickly, which was initially my concern when I heard that they were going to be in the game. I was like, okay, that's just going to be like insta-melt. Um, got another weird dual sight, more dodging, basically. Care package is back. Um, just slow this down here. You'll see the combat knife is returning, so you don't have to have a secondary, or you can choose to have a combat knife, basically. Um, then we get some fancy movement again. Seems like sort of Ge Gears of War style, the movement's going to be very important. Uh, and the second kill streak he earns, the symbol kind of looks like a VSAT, but I don't know whether it is. I don't think it is. I really hope the VSAT comes back. <laughs> but yes, just some more more gameplay here. Um, this is the interesting part. I'll stop here. It says objective defended there when he dives down on the guy with the flag. I think you can, like, Super Mario butt stomp people. I think that might be in the game, because he does the same movement that he did to dive into the water before. And there... I think he kills that guy. It changes over really quickly so you don't get to see the kill feed, but I think he kills it. I think you can butt stop. Butt stop. That'd be awesome. But yeah, we have some more swimming, picking off guys. We've got what looks to be a uh, VTOL. The crossbow is coming back. See that mech suit in action that we saw before. Uh, more dynamic maps. Power. Everyone wants power. Looks like a turret. There might be turrets on some maps. Um, and then that looks like the kill streak. Uh, that was in Ghost. I don't know, I didn't play Ghost, so I got no idea what the killstreak's called. But yeah, that's the gist. I'll let this last bit play out. Basically shows some of the weird customization and things that you can earn after the match, and lists a bunch of weapons. So, yeah. There you go. There's all the, the pre-order bullshit. Um, I'm pretty sure at this point you either are one of the people that buy it on day one, or you don't. And oh, this video probably isn't going to change your opinion on that. Um, I know this wasn't super in depth, but I'd be I'd be lying if I said I've been following this game. But I'd also be lying if I said I won't be playing because I will be playing. I will get it. But yeah, there's plenty of stuff I didn't really go in depth of weapons and stuff and the kill feeds upside down now. But you know, none of that really matters. I will link the original trailer in the description. Be sure to check out the aggro comments. They're pretty funny. And I also link a Eddie Jump video that I watched today which kind of 
I really like his videos. He, spe he speaks a lot of truth in a kind of a bullshit way, I guess you could say. He's uh, very makes very good videos, so uh, check that out as well. That's to do with Call of Duty. So I uh, hope you enjoy, guys. Goodbye.